This is Daily Dose of Daryl, Paco Pino, Orion Peebles. I remember when my daughter Suzanne told me that she had a cat named Paco. And I was really excited because Paco had four paws. And now Paco had five paws because I became a grand paw. Yes, Paco made me a grand paw. And I was really excited. I was so glad to finally meet Paco in New York. And I was able to uh, draw his portrait and uh, buy some tuna fish and see how much he liked tuna fish. But Paco had the greatest mom, Suzanne, and he was a, a great companion for Suzanne also. And they spent almost 15 years together. And as he got smaller, he still had an appetite for at least the smell of tuna fish. But through those many years, which in human years would be close to 80, he began to get smaller and smaller and weaker and weaker. And I guess we all knew the time was coming. And of course, it's hardest on Suzanne. But she sent me a picture of him watching the Daily Dose of Daryl on television, which actually was pretty cool. And... Um, so, you know, I was praying that this time would be good for the both of them. And they were able to appreciate these last days together as Paco got weaker. And today was the day that uh, she was driving him to the pet. I mean, the vet, excuse me, <laughs> driving her pet to the vet. And uh, told me that this was the time that he was going to be going on. And so uh, I scrambled real quickly to, to write a song for Paco, and I got it on uh, digitalized and sent to her, and she said that he was able to listen to that when they gave the injection and he went on a cross. She did post this. This picture was taken years ago. She says, Sweet Paco Pino Orion Peebles, my sweet lover, my best friend, my mutual angel, this day a memory, his birth still a mystery, but around 15 years ago, this participant found a life with maybe a bit more complexity than was anticipated. Today he romps in multiples of spirit of mind, no doubt, happy, full, wonderful life lived. And that was beautiful, Suzanne. And this Daily Dose of Daryl is dedicated to Paco. And I'm going to include this last picture that you posted of my grand cat. And I'm going to share that song that I wrote on the spur of the moment. Paco, Paco, you're the best grand cat I ever had. Paco, Paco, your life makes me glad. There's a better one awaiting you. You'll be okay. Just you not being here will make us sad today, but we know you're okay, Paco. Your grandpa is pleased. Your mama is the best one that I ever did see. <laughs> Obviously not an English teacher. Paco, Paco, you just ease on out of here. Because where you're going is much better, my dear. Love you, Paco. I know they got lots of tuna fish there. Some of you will understand this special moment. Some of you are animal lovers and know this special relationship. Paco, you brought a lot of joy and love into our lives. And we will always remember you. God bless you. This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Paco Pino Orion Peebles. How you treat animals reveals more about your relationship with God than you might realize. I'm Daryl R. Peebles, an ordained minister trained in art in the fire service. I retired from the local church shedding to share my ministry with many others. I'm now producing these great presentations made just for you 
which are pandemic safe, personalized, portable, permanent, price saving, powerful, private, positive, and professional. Call me at 336-516-3793 or send me an email at darylpeebles at gmail.com or go to the website darylpeebles.com. Letters can go to Box 953 in Graham. Subscribe to this channel, share it with others, be sure to click like, and come back each day for something new. But now, have a great day. Make it a great day. It's the only one you have. And remember, sharing God's love with the least of these is like returning love to God. And God will richly bless you for that. Be filled with the power that's available to you now. It's a power for living. Paco, thank you so much for a great life. And God bless all of you.